Hi guys, it's Clara and welcome back to the channel. So today as you can see from the title, I am going to do a Notion tour where I basically show off <laughs> I basically show you guys how my Notion is, the features, and just talking about the whole thing. It's basically a tour. You know, you have seen like a uh, room tour, house tour, desk tour. I'm giving you my first tour. It's true. Like, this is like my first tour ever. Like, <laughs> Notion tour. Even though it may not be like a physical place, it's something I do and I use every day. So, yeah, it's still personal. For those of you new here, hi, my name is Clara and I thank you for joining the fam <laughs> for joining us into this place and into this space I hope you have come to stay But basically, I had this idea of Notion Tour when I was filming my last vlog which I uploaded two weeks ago It was a school vlog where I mentioned, oh, like, I feel I have to do Notion Tour because uh, I feel a lot of people don't know what it is or even if they do have, like, my case in two years ago I didn't know how to use it I just don't know what this app was for and everything like that so I'm here to help you okay this is not sponsored I wish I'm doing this video like genuinely I mean even if it's sponsored I still want to help you you know what I mean but like this is my own idea I really genuinely want to help you and just want to help anyone that is having difficulty with notion or just looking for an app they want to use as students or just for their personal lives for work you can literally use this app for anything so just sit tight i'm going to take you through and i'm going to give you all the tea about notion disclaimer i am not perfect i have had this app since 2021 and i just started using it recently because at that time i just I don't know, I've never been a planner kind of person. Even if I write it down in a book, I just don't end up using it. <laughs> I don't know how many planners I've bought that I actually never got to use. Like, I'll finish the whole thing. I don't even reach halfway like of the book, so... I do most of them on my head, so... But college is stressful. Like, I can't have all those deadlines and just assignments and things to do and keep them on my head, no. And I'm re actually really lazy to put it on my phone because I feel... My phone is for me, like I don't want any schoolwork inside it, so this app is good for me. I am not perfect, I am actually a, a beginner, I don't know a lot, I don't know all about Notion, but the ones I know I'm going to share and teach you guys and just, you know, share my tips and what I know what I've learned over the time in this app. Okay, so no long story, let's get into the video. So as you can see right now, this is the homepage of my Notion and we i'm going to basically take you guys through all these things right oh i'm so little <laughs> but yeah can we can we just can we just clap and just appreciate the editing skills because it is not easy but yeah basically this is the whole notion page as you can see i'm like directing you guys with my cursor but yeah this is uh, on the left side you see right here i have uh the notion part you know the basic things search updates settings and a new page and then the second column is about favorites uh, all the favorite pages so rather than me going through corners and another corner and turn this side on that one i have put all of them into favorites so i can easily just access every single one of them from this left bar and then i have private i actually don't know but i just I don't know what private really is for though <laughs> but I guess it's for like you know my pages I think you can't have a public account on notion I don't know but basically this is like the main pages so the one I click on right now this is it so actually this second one is what I use during summer you can see it's Clara and this is Hebrew for blessed you know kid but this is the one I use for summer basically. This is a different um a different page. But then fall, a new year, a new thing. I just wanted to make a new page rather than you know changing this whole thing. I just made a new one and that's what I'm using currently. Page, right? This is the front page of the one I'm using. So this one is already outdated, I guess. And this is for like content and stuff. So here I'm going to show this one because it's like the main thing which one which I use every single day so let's start from here so here we have the name you can actually put anything that you want I put Clara and this is another Hebrew for anointed because 
per why not <laughs> and i put this picture of robin from one piece you can actually put anything like i love her i love to put robin because if you notice in the first page i also put robin but it's kind of like old you know i'm just this is summer like that's what i was feeling at that point but now i'm already i guess i'm already used to the whole um college thing so you know i'm kind of like cool a little bit <laughs> So I choose this one. You can actually change it with emojis as you want or icons. But how you can customize it, you click on custom. And you can either do you can do it two ways. You will paste the link of the image or you download it and upload it from your file. So I got this one from Pinterest. I just searched like I just searched um Robin One Piece aesthetic anime profile picture, you know, PFP, and I just copy the link or but me personally i prefer to download it and upload it from here so if you want to upload file then it can just take you to your files and stuff and then you just click and yeah and also for the for the cover you also do the same thing but this one i it's animated because i put on a gif gif or gif i don't know i think it's gif but yeah, they have cover like pictures from Notion themselves. And then if you want to upload, you can do the same, then the link. So if you want to do GIF, same thing, I get mine from Pinterest. So you just like look for maybe, I want if this time I want it to be green, like this summer, you know, summer, something is a lot of plants are blooming. So that's just the vibe. Oh, I'm also wearing green too, but <laughs> I wanted something moving. I, I've always loved the GIF covers, so so it keeps on moving it's not just like a still picture you know what i mean so that is the beginning then you can have comments like literally you can have any comment like essentially just put anything you want to be honest you can say maybe it's your mood of the day i'm like i need to sleep you see you see that so you can just put any comments that you want and if you want to remove it you can easily delete it and everything will go back to normal and yeah that is that so basically as you go down you see I have a widget this actually came okay so this page I got it from the templates right here it's a student template from notion themselves so it's not my I just customize it to my own liking and everything I change and tweak uh, stuffs a bit you know to my like basically you can customize it anyhow you want right but how you would be able to do that is when you use it every single day you get familiar more you 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 familiarize yourself with all the features and just what you can do you know i'm still learning as i said i'm still learning and that's just how it is like the more you use it the more you know so i actually got this template from notion and then this clock this widget clock came with the template so it's showing the time 2.28 p.m. on a Saturday. Yes, I filmed this one day before because I have a lot of work. <laughs> so I am working overnight for you guys, please. And you can actually customize this. It's a is a it's from a, it's from a website. It's like all these um widget websites for Notion. Actually, all the widgets here are from that same website. So I have this clock right here. I have this little calendar with the tiny gifs. Yeah, so cute. Then I have the weather. You can see uh, it's cloudy. I'm so glad summer is ending, to be honest. Because I, I can't stand the heat anymore. <laughs> and then this little box right here is actually a Bible verse that I just love. I really love this Bible verse because it just shows that the Holy Spirit is with you all the time. I put in a little heart icon. Like, literally, you can customize everything to the littlest details. And it's up to you if you want to get from Pinterest as usual you can do that for the text you can easily highlight it and change the whether you want to bold in it or italize or underline it then you have a lot of colors you can see the color and just the background but personally I like the green today to match with everything else you know as you go down right here I have a to-do list it's not really actually for today but I have a to-do list right here i've completed and i'm actually doing this at the moment <laughs> and yeah okay let's start from the left 
then under the to-do list i have a navigation these are all the pages for school i labeled school uni girly because i am a uni girly come on i have work and expenses and then links to courses because as i said it's pages in pages in pages so i love making things easy and that will not just take me time because if it takes me time i i don't want like i need everything to be fast like i need everything to be quick i hate sluggishness like really so if even if my me myself i'm sluggish sometimes i just be like you know what scrap it i'll do it some other time so i love making things so fast you know easy to access and everything so i have all the courses all the classes i'm doing this semester right here so and then this is another widget of the year you know the day is 60 percent complete week is 80 percent complete month and year i've passed the half mark of the year which is crazy and then on the left here i have uh this is actually my duolingo for turkish but i haven't been doing this for like weeks now so the streaks have gone but yeah i'll i'll get that too i'll get back to it soon <laughs> and then on the right uh after the calendar i have another page of like a calendar that i'm going to show you then a, a little about me section with my name with my age and degree and my graduation date yes i'm graduating in two years in fact i'm gra graduating twice by god's grace so watch out watch out i'm going to have two degrees in four years come on now <laughs> that the about me section i have the on repeat which i where i put like i display and i show off the song that i've been repeat that i've been playing repeatedly you know it's been on repeat on spotify so here is actually from spotify this is used by you by Halvi. i don't know it's this section is so small you can actually put any song you want this is called embedding page i don't really know what embed means but i just learned that like recently so basically if you go to spotify like this is my go-to playlist at the moment choose another song maybe um which other song do i like i love king jesus at the moment by no big deal so you click on the three dots then share and then you click on embed track then you're going to see this page you can customize it if you want it black or this one but i love this one actually then you are going to copy and then when you go back to notion wherever you want to embed that in you're going to click this dots which shows more actions and you're going to sh to click on replace and you're going to press ctrl v just to paste it you know and embed link and that very song you have embedded from spotify is going to show here and that is basically it like it's so fun it's so you can customize it anyhow you want which is really fun and interesting you know and then finally the biggest section after i have the weather here i have a daily check-in what are my priorities today i don't really use this because i don't know as i said i'm still getting used to actually planning my day and besides if i plan anything it can never actually <laughs> <laughs> go the way it will because a lot of things happen at the same time so yeah this is a little section if you're really you know all this journal type of person this will actually be good for you but i just left it like this because it looks cute but i don't really use it so this is the home page and now let's go to my favorites because these are the pages i use every day so in uni girly i have this new page you can see oh come on uh oop what is this stuff as you can see in this um uni girly page uh this is where all my school works are i have the fall 2023 deeds that's like all the school work and the progress and academic to-do list this is basically just any fast to do you know it doesn't need to be a uh, school work of like oh i have to read this and that basically if i need something concerning that subject concerning that course this is where i record it for my english i'm actually having a paper so i need to read the material again this is for chemistry for lab oh i have done this check <laughs> and then i have not done this for math and for american government for political science and then i have my little schedule for the week yes i have classes from monday to friday because i love school <laughs> actually i didn't see any days any other days for chemistry but yeah 
I just choose to have chemistry on its own day because I love chemistry so much but yeah as you can see I have Monday I have Tuesday to Friday and then I color coded every single course for this whole page with the same color for English is blue the lab is red green for is for math and political science is for purple and chemistry is for yellow yeah lab and chemistry are different so we have different teachers for everything so eat so i have the time here i actually have the detail you know about the offices and the classrooms on my phone so i don't because that's like the hand the most that's like it comes in the most handy so i don't think i need to put in I just didn't put in the office and class numbers here because I will not be carrying this laptop around as I'm looking for the classes <laughs> but now I'm already used to where the class is but you know within the first two weeks is going to be hard especially if you're a freshman so I have the time here and the days on when I have these classes so this is the schedule right and you can see they have the same color codes and stuff so yeah this is just the uni girly page this is the main page and then Let's go to the second one. Like, if you click on this, as you can see, as I said, it's favorite. So, because I click on the star right here, your favorite. And you see, if I click on this, it's going to disappear from the side. Then, if you click back on it, it's going to show. You can see that, right? And then, going to the fall 2023 deeds, this is like the very page I have to use every single day. I open 100 times a day, literally. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't need cover for this because I want this one to be more serious I don't need to be I have all the decorations in the front like I have it in the main page I have it in the uni girly page this one is just work straight like serious stuff so I don't need <laughs> anything I just have the icon of a calendar because you know it's just details and I have the I titled it fall 2023 D it's, you know the details and the T that's why I put this little T green tea emoji and then here I have as I said is green to match the whole color of the year I guess uh, it has my starting date till you know the first day till the last day of the semester of the year that I started school 21st of August and I'm going to have the last class by 4th actually still I'm still going to have exams like on the 6th and 7th and the 8th but you know this is the last day of classes so we're, we're good and then here I color this I have a table I have a database and this is actually the same one that you saw on the main page but this is the main thing this is where I input all of them so here I have a database a table where I included number course the T you know the work and then deadline task status and just extra notes I don't really have notes for most of them but if I do I'll put it in there so for number you know the list of number one and then the course if I want to put in the course I have all the courses right here you can see all in the same color I color coded everything so everything is the same and then you can just then I have the deadline and I have task what different type of task it is whether it's an assignment, an exam, quiz, important date, or just discussion pose, example, task, or seminar, whatever. This actually came with a template, and I feel I don't need to change it because even though I don't use all of them, I use most of them, so why, why, why bother changing it, you know? And then this is the status whether I'm done with it, whether I'm done with it, or it's still in progress, or I haven't started at all. So, yeah. So, basically... So I have all the work courses of my, I have all the work, like work from quiz, from papers to assignments, everything. I have everything here. You can see. Okay, for example, I was doing this earlier today and it's still in progress. And this is, and one thing about Notion is really going to make things easy for you because whatever you want to put there, you can put it so for example I have to write two pages on a documentary about um, you know US politics and the one I choose is about Putin and the president so I click um, I included the link of the page right here so whenever I want to rewatch it or I just want to you know go through it again go over the materials I'll just click this link and to take me straight to the page rather than going back to PBS and looking for the names and stuff so 
yeah the same thing for all these notes right here this is the link to the um portal that my school uses for all our assignments and stuff but yeah this is basically all the work that i do in school for example i'm going to put in another work that i need to do for my lab so the next is 29 then i'm going to choose the subject which is lab and then i'm going to click on um review lab sheet lab sheet because the teacher like the professor handed us give us handouts you know before lab I actually love to read it ahead and then the date I have to do it before Monday and then that is a task I need to do that by myself and and I'll label it not started so that is for fall 2023 deeds and then going to the next I actually just started this yesterday but basically this is a table the same table uh, where I will record all my grades for quizzes and just um, homeworks and everything so I can at least have a view of what my mark is going to be whether I need to put in extra work or I need to go for extra credit works if there are any you know just to know what I'll get at the end of semester the GBNO and then time and season this is the big main calendar for the month where here I actually color coded the same thing but they don't have the purple book emoji so if you can see Paul is purple <laughs> so for September you can actually put the same thing I think I feel students use more of Google Calendar but at the same time I love Google I love Notion because it just looks so aesthetic I mean if that works more for you you can use it <laughs> I'm not forcing you to use but basically this is the calendar for of the month for the whole of September I have easy quiz for every chemistry classes where I have no class with a clapping emoji because it was Labor Day but yeah and then I you know just like any deadlines I need to do and anything you know just to be a it's just a general overview of the month of any important dates and any important papers I need to turn in and stuff so yeah basically that is all the pages right here then this is for i don't really use it yet but you know because i haven't really gotten this came with the template i really really i haven't gotten a job yet as a student so i haven't used that page yet also the expenses i don't spend <laughs> i don't spend on anything but once i do i will definitely keep records of them so you can see like you can literally use this for any everything so this uh the last thing I'm going to go through is my quick links to the courses. So basically this is where I have all the details of the courses. You can see for English 1102, I put a bunch of comments, old fashioned traditional class students. <laughs> because students were giving him very bad records, like very bad reviews on read to my professors. And I actually don't use those type of things, but you know, my friends will be telling me, oh, why'd you sign up for him? I'm like, I just signed up for the one that is available and I know that Holy Spirit is always guiding me in every decision I make so if I'm there there should be a reason you know what I mean <laughs> the details definitely I can show you I cannot show you that of the instructor email and the phone number and just the syllabus and all the stuffs all the details I need to know about the course so yeah that is the tour of my notion you can do everything really and then here is where I got the template for you can see as you click on the template you're going to see this you have work so I click on that and I just clicked on school I chose the I chose the Janice studies student dashboard it really looks so this is how it was originally you see like there's a lot it, it's still the same thing I just tweaked it a little bit to fit my taste and you just click this and everything's going to it's very easy to use so yeah that is my notion for you guys yeah shout out to the shirt it just says jesus loves you thank you so much guys for watching i hope this video has helped you really and whatever questions you have any additional question you can just easily ask me in the comments and i'll gladly help you so i'll see you guys in the next video until then have a blessed week have a great week and just be blessed Ta da